Alright, so I just updated my Xbox 360 with the November 1st console update. Um, so let's check it out and see what they've changed in the dashboard. So over the next few minutes you'll be introduced to your Xbox 360 and some basic concepts. Ready? Grab your controller, relax, and press A to start. And apparently the game thinks that I am a 17-year-old blonde girl who weighs about 45 pounds. So let's continue. You can use the Xbox Dashboard and Xbox Guide to get everything Xbox 360 has to offer. Here you'll learn about the dashboard and the controls. Okay. In the Xbox Dashboard you can find and start games, music, and videos, socialize with friends, get news and previews, change your settings. In the Xbox Dashboard, move the left stick to move around the screen. When you want to select something, press A. No shit. When you want to go back or cancel the action, press the B button. If you want to red ring your console, press the X button. No, that's not okay. Check the bottom of the Xbox dashboard to see which buttons are available to press. If you need to read a message, find friends, or perform any other routine activity, you don't need to leave your game. Press the silver guide button, which would open, that's right, ooh, the new Xbox guide appears. Look, it looks different now. They've changed the colors. In the Xbox guide, you can check up on friends, read or send a message, invite friends to your game, sign in and out, and change your settings. You're all set. If you want to see this again, you can start it from the welcome channel in the Xbox dashboard. So let's actually take a look at the dashboard and see what they've changed um, what it looks like. Alright, well, first of all, this is a Halo, um, Halo Reach theme in the background. So right off the bat, this is completely freaking different. Get started, connect, family first, tutorials on how to use your console, which basically means how to use connect, and remove this welcome channel from view. Let's remove this from, well, hold on. My Xbox is your old channel. Huh. Yeah, let's hide this stupid channel. Yes. So you only get one channel now? The sound is completely different. You Now if you want to get to the marketplace... Oh, I'm not connected to live because I did the dashboard update. Alright, let's sign in. Duh. Please accept the new terms of use. Alright. Let's see what they say. What am I signing away this time? This is a contract between you and Microsoft Corporation. Wow. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. You must accept the terms. You can register a Windows Live ID, blah, blah, blah. Certain games, certain offerings that are available via the service may contain additional terms and codes of conduct. Don't be an asshole when you're on Xbox Live. Well, I wish everyone listened to that. I wish that fucking 12-year-olds couldn't buy Call of Duty and then go online, because I can tell you right now, when it, Black Ops comes out next week, all you're going to hear are 12-year-olds, Yeah, motherfucker, I built you up with C4! You, and then F this, F that racial shit. That's all you're going to hear. So, All right, basically the terms say don't be a dick. So I'll accept. Even though I know I'm a dick, so I don't know how I'm going to avoid it. <clears throat> okay. Any day now. Okay, so now what happened is because I signed into Xbox Live, now you get all the old stuff. You've got my Xbox, here's your game marketplace which looks exactly the same as it used to. It just looks like they've actually added more stuff. It's a longer, longer capability there. Here's your video marketplace with Zoom, with Netflix, with a blank white fucking box. That's some good ad use right there. <laughs> I can't believe that that thing is fucking blank. <laughs> Music marketplace. Who the hell buys music to listen to on your Xbox? You'd have to be a fucking retard. This I understand. If you're going to buy track packs, that makes sense. 
or if you want to watch a music video. Or maybe Thriller. Maybe Thriller is your favorite music video of all time and you want to buy it in HD. That I can understand. But who buys music to only listen to on your 360? Anyway, there's your friends list, which looks identical to what it used to look like. No difference there. Here's your inside Xbox channel where you're going to get all those promos, videos, things like that. Find the new Vegas snow globes. I already did. People can just go to my playthrough to find that. They don't have to watch your shitty video. Connect is almost here. Party with Major Nelson in New York. Yeah, I want to party with a 45-year-old. Excellent. That's exactly what I want to do. My community. Video connect. Video chat on your TV. Obviously, you can't do that unless you buy the Microsoft Connect, which I will have later this week. Facebook. Twitter. Really doesn't look like there's, there's much new at all. Oh, I, I don't want to meet Spooky Lou. Spooky Lou can fucking blow me. Um... It doesn't look to me like much has changed. It looks like they've st they've changed it a little bit where the boxes are shaped differently. You have new sound effects now. They might have changed the font. But pretty much everything's identical. I'm j what I'm guessing, the major difference is, is that the Kinect is going to let you do video chat and motion through this dashboard. Like if you move your hand left or right, it's supposed to allow you to do a motion controlled Xbox 360 dashboard. Which absolutely no one asked for. But I guess that's okay. Um... Well, I'm just curious if I go into my stuff, does it change? Oh, they changed the colors of everything. Um, wow, all right. Right off the bat, going into here, this looks completely different. Um, they've changed all of the... It's all white now, white and gray. Um, change theme, customize avatar, change gamer tag, active download, switch profile. I'm trying to remember if active download used to be here. I don't think it did. You get to see your point balance, and you get to see your email address. Now, everyone knows my email address, so it's not a big deal that you're seeing it. But for privacy issues, I'm not so sure I would want to have my email address show up on the screen. Points balance is cool, though, because sometimes, unless you're buying something, it's hard to tell what your, what exactly how many points you have left, which could be annoying. So look at this. It even shows you what's online safety, what is allowed and what's not. Not allowed. Voice data collection. Xbox marketing and partner marketing. No, I, I didn't want them sending me shit. But it says friends only, online status, friends list. So there's, it's showing you what you have. What is allowed, explicit content. Yes, of course, I love explicit content. It's my favorite. Achievement screen does not look like it has changed at all. Um, looks identical to me. Let's go to view all. Yep, it's the basic achievement screen for everything. No change there. How about the profile? Have they added anything to the profile? View games. Edit your profile. View your rep. View your rep. That would be interesting. What is my rep? Alright. Yes! I got 30% unsporting behavior. 49% of the people who've played me did not submit a review. 51% avoided you. Do you want to know why? Those are all the people whose asses I beat in fucking Street Fighter 4 online, and they're all pussy bitches. Whenever they lose, they fucking submit negative feedback about you because they're bitches. <laughs> quit early. I've never quit early in my life. I've never quit a, a match early in my life. <laughs> unsporting. So because I beat your ass in Street Fighter, I was unsporting. Aggressive, okay. Aggressive, I can understand. But unsporting? That's hilarious. Trash talk? I don't even use a microphone. How can you say I trash talk? <laughs> These people are idiots. But anyway, um, alright. Which I really don't think much has changed at all. Um, you could switch profile quickly. No, you could do that with the old one too. People who've saved profiles to your computer. Um, how about avatars? I actually just earned an item in, in Fable 3 the regal crown, and I want to actually put that on my avatar, because I'm the king of hate, obviously. Makes sense to have a crown. So I'm going to see, let's see, did they update this at all? Looks like they have. This looks a little different. So, they changed the fucking menu layout. That's really stupid. Marketplace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Avatars have changed, and all clothing needs to be updated. Updating avatar clothes and accessories. I didn't change anything. What 
the fuck is going on? I guess maybe this is new clothes and things from the from the Xbox update they're adding to my list here. That looks like a Monkey Island 2 shirt. Dead with the same cat. How do you get in here again? Fucking dead. It'd be funny if you're like dead people hanging from the clothesline. <laughs> This guy didn't get out of his clothes before he went into the dryer. Our what is taking so long? This is ridiculous. Do they really think I'm gonna fucking sit here for like 10 minutes while this happens? For Avatar clothes? Are they for real? Oh my god, what is, what is this bullshit? shit to do today <laughs> oh look my freaking guy just loaded the dragon you can see his feet down there he just loaded he wasn't there before there was a problem changing your avatar's clothes <laughs> so right off the fucking bat there's a there's a problem all right here's the one i just earned from fable 3 i want the crown yes i want to wear the crown that's pretty cool man I gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Alright, so I'm saving and exiting. That's hilarious. Right off the bat, there's a problem. We have to update your avatar's clothes. Error. Good job, Microsoft. All right, so besides that, has anything else changed? Not really. Um, let's actually jump into, I'm just curious if we jump into Game Marketplace. Nope, you still get your games and demos, your add-ons, nothing has really changed. Besides the sound, it seems to me the sound effects is the major change, seriously. That and the fact that half the pictures aren't loading right now, look. <laughs> they do have genres of gaming now with different games previewed, okay. Specialty shops. Showcase games. Alright. So, one other thing. Well, no, none of my friends are online. If I jump on Rambo's account here, it does not look at all like anything's changed besides there's now Video Connect. If he had a Microsoft Connect, we could do a video chat. Uh, which, we'll see what happens. I'll see if anyone that I know ends up getting the Connect, and if they do, maybe I'll do a demo of the video chat and see how it is. But, I don't know anyone right now else who's buying it besides me, and that's literally true. No one wants it. So, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I guess people just don't want motion control games, which is what I've been saying for 10 years. But anyway, um, alright. So this is the new dashboard update. Not a lot has changed. Let's actually check. The only other thing that's different that I can see. Everything looks the same. Pfft, nothing. These are the 97 random messages that I get. But, uh... I might have accident. I might have accidentally sent you a friend request. Hi, Phil. My computer is broke, so I haven't been out for a while, but I heard something about John Rambo's channel on YouTube. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to sit here and read all these. But anyway, no, nothing's changed. This is identical. Everything's identical. This is the list of people who sent me friend requests, and I'm not accepting, but for some reason, it clogs up your entire fucking friends box, which makes it so... So here you go. Here's an opportunity for them to fix something. And to actually fix your inbox so that people who send you random friend requests don't show up in your friends box. It should show up in a pending friends box, but it does not. Instead, I have to sort three fucking times in order to get to people who are really my friends. What a bunch of dumb shit this is. So Microsoft, fix your fucking shit. I don't want a hundred random friend requests showing as friends in my friend box, you idiots. But anyway... That's it. Nothing major going on. She says, here's a cool tour of new features. No, the new features is if you buy a Connect. That's why they did this update. So once I get the Connect, we'll look at this again.